In Orlando, Florida, tens of thousands of honeybees are living inside the walls of Chantel and Michael Side's home. The landlord tries to tackle the infestation himself and unwittingly creates a life-threatening problem. I knew that if one bee stung me, I could go into shock. But if two or three stung me, I would have no hope. I could stop breathing and I could even die. The family are now prisoners in their own home. It takes two days, but eventually the swarm disperses. The landlord seals up the bee's entrance hole to prevent any others from getting in. My wife was uh, making dinner. I remember looking down on the floor and, you know, seeing a few grains of rice and my wife saying, you know, why are you spilling food? You know, pick it up. And I look at Shania and I'm thinking, there's rice grains by her. And I look and it's a maggot. And I look around and they're all maggots. This is so gross. It was like at least a hundred. We're like, what's going on? Where are they coming from? This time, the landlord agrees to call in professionals. But this infestation isn't what the couple thought. They aren't maggots at all. They're hive beetle larvae, and they're living in the hives that are still inside the walls. Turns out that there were four hives in the wall, about four feet long each. So they pretty much had to cut our wall open from ceiling to floor. It was amazing and disgusting all at once. One of the guys was like, I've been doing this for 25 years and I've never seen anything like this before. Three weeks of work cost the landlord several thousand dollars. But eventually, the hives are gone and the house is repaired. Having endured a living nightmare for two months, Chantel and Michael's ordeal is over. Their house is finally infestation-free.